dear friends, uh, I'm going to talk about a very interesting problem that we have seen in software development uh, in C programming. In this problem, we have seen that people have coded hundreds and lines of codes and their logic is also pretty good. However, when they run the code, they will encounter a very different issue. Consider this piece of code where you have an if condition with some size of uh, data type and some computations and a relationship uh, check, you know, with a greater than symbol. So when you have this if condition, you can have one of these outcomes. Many of you who have seen some of my earlier videos, you will know that the answer for this is uh, not going to be true. It's going to be false. Okay. So, but when you do software development, right, we, we, we don't write code like this four lines. We have a lot of code and this kind of check is embedded. So, think about one if condition and a big block and some functions in that block and then we do have an else condition and then a big block and some functions in those blocks, right. In those kind of situations, sometimes it is difficult to pinpoint where the problem is because uh, we always assume as a developer, most of the time, this computation is going to give you a kind of a true, not exactly this line, but something similar is going to give you your desired answer. However, the actual answer, answer that you see is a different answer, right? Okay, so you can certainly pause the video now and try to understand why this answer is not so I've already answered it, right? Why the answer is not true. The answer, why the answer is false. If you get that idea, create that logic, think in your mind, and then we will validate your logic in the runtime. I'm going to give you a complete explanation about this problem and a solution now, okay? So let's jump into the code for this particular problem. So it's a problem number 10. So we have this particular code, uh, as you can see here, I have not, uh, done any modification size of integer is it greater than one then true or false so let's compile this code at this point of time and we will run this code now so as i mentioned that the answer is false okay for beginners first timers sometimes they think there's something wrong in their coding which is not really true your code is correct understanding is not correct okay so we will now solve this problem with the explanation so look into this um, piece of code and then I'm going to give you an explanation down here, okay. So when you talk about size of operator, right? So when you talk about size of, as you know that size of is a compiled time, is a compiled time entity, it's a compiled time. So it is going to deduce the size of integer, which I think everybody knows uh, in most of the systems, right? So when it says size of integer, uh, it's basically the amount of memory that integer requires is uh, 4 bytes, so the value is 4, right? So when you look into size of integer 4 and then greater than minus 1, what is minus 1? Minus 1 is also an integer, okay? So interesting thing is size of integer is 4 and is 4 greater than minus 1? That is the question. Natural answer by almost everyone is yes, it is greater, it is perfectly fine, okay? So why? The answer is false now because 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 when you look into size of we have to understand one interesting thing size of does not return a signed integer size of is a size do you think that a size can be a negative value answer is no so the design of size of is always a positive value which means that it is an unsigned value right so it's an unsigned unsigned i repeat it's an unsigned value it's an unsigned integer right so now you're comparing an unsigned integer with a so-called signed integer because minus one is just an integer as you know it's a sign it's a signed integer or an integer right so when you look into these two uh, operations, right, basically, uh, sorry, these two operands, these two operands, and this is very important in programming, right, because in the rules for the C language, the operator will work only when the operands are of the same type, okay. So what is the operator here? So in general, when you talk about the rules, so what we have, we have a operand, and then we have a operator, and then we have a operand once again, right? Okay. So you have an operand operator, sorry, operator, and then operand. 
here our op this this is the operator this is a binary operator greater than is a binary operator it requires two operand right so the data types and everything must match okay since they are integer it is fine but one of them is unsigned another is signed so the higher value always take precedence so unsigned will take precedence so naturally what will happen is the lower data type or this guy will be promoted to a higher data type so in these two between signed and unsigned we can see this will be promoted to a promoted promoted to a unsigned entity so when you say unsigned entity minus 1 minus 1 is an unsigned entity and minus 1 is represented in memory in a very different way right what is minus 1 on a integer minus 1 for an integer in a binary representation is just this right it is just this so i am just typing it uh, for the heck of it right basically so everything is 1 minus 1 for a 32 bit integer or a sun sign now so is basically all 1 1 1 1 1 in hexadecimal notations we generally call it as hexadecimal f f f f f f f f totally eight apps because we have four bytes right basically so we are looking at this so this is what is minus one when you compare this four now with a minus one or so called unsigned finally or f f f f f this is the largest possible integer value so is four greater than largest possible inter, inter, uh, integer value no so the answer will be false right we can always do one thing so now we know that the answer is false so we'll validate it further by doing some 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 sort of you know uh, modification to the code to validate our theory isn't it so we'll we'll validate it and we'll try to understand what it is actually so the simplest way to validate our uh, interpretation is we can just do one thing like we'll say that we have an integer i repeat integer okay we'll say integer size equal to size of integer now i repeat size of integer is 4 and now we are storing it into an integer value which is 4 so this is fundamentally different so i am just replacing this here okay so if i say size so is 4 greater than minus 1 answer is yes i repeat answer is yes because this is an integer value and this is also integer so between integer comparison 4 is greater than minus 1 yes this is true so when you compare this you get true right so the next is we will modify the code and we will make as a unsigned integer okay so we'll just make it as unsigned when we do an unsigned integer now we will try to analyze our code okay so we will understand why things are the way it is showing now this this explanation holds true when you say that it is an unsigned integer right so let's compile this code and then when you run this code it become false so you can see that with an unsigned data type you know the other side has to be converted or interpreted or promoted as an unsigned and this is absolutely a largest value as you know okay minus one when you see it it is the largest possible value okay i hope that you understood this particular logic and thanks for watching this video i will see you uh, in another video sometime soon